Oh, I almost lost my kit. I just grabbed it right before it fell into the water. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of nervous now. I better wrap the channel up. right now. I'm doing some long exposure um, out on this bridge, trying to get some long exposure light trails. I also have this this like prism lens on here. It's my Sony A6400 16 millimeter Sigma. I have the prism lens, so you can see those lights. They're like right there. You can see the lights coming across. So I also tried that, but what I'm doing for the long exposure, yeah, see now you can see those prism, that this like prism lens cover, uh, it's kind of cool. But I have that on my Sigma 16 millimeter. So I'm doing um, some long exposure light trails with the A60, or what is it, the A7 III with a Tamron 2875. And uh, let's see, do I have this in auto? Yeah, it's an auto. Um, so my settings on the a7 III, right now I have um, ISO 100, f20, 15 second, um, 15 second shutter. So, and I also have it at 75 millimeter. Also, I have it on a two second timer. That way the camera, once I hit it, once I uh, depress the button, the camera doesn't shake. So now it's going to take the photo process and we'll see what it looks like. Put that photo on the screen. Um, it wasn't bad, it looks pretty decent. I'll have to, I'll have to edit, but uh, let's try another one. So I, I, I wanna get just a nice composition and you know, just like some nice trails. So I'm trying 15 seconds right now. But this is, um, I've never tried this spot before. But yeah, I should be getting some pretty good photos. But the main thing is when you do this, you have to use a tripod or else it'll just be too blurry because it will shake too much. That's why I need to self the um, timer. I usually do a two second timer just so it doesn't shake. Now let's see what that one looks like. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's not bad. I don't mind that. So I want to try, this is train that keeps coming by. Uh, on this side, so I want to try to see if I can get some shots over on the other side and maybe see what that blue bridge, the blue lights on that bridge. I want to try to get a long exposure of that water. So I'm going to try that, but we'll see what I can get. But uh, yeah, long exposure is pretty cool. You just have to, usually I put the F aperture around 20. ISO I usually have around 100. Um, it would help if I had a ND filter just to uh, eliminate some of the brightness from the headlights. So an ND filter would be good. I keep the ISO low around 100, f-stop, usually, or the f um, aperture a little higher, usually around 20. And then the shutter, um, I'd like around 15 is good. I'll do one, I'll try one at uh, 10. If I had an ND filter, then I could up the app, the um, shutter a little bit higher, but when I do that around 20 or higher than 20, it gets a little bit too bright. So I'll try this at 10, and maybe I'll up the ISO a little, a 160, and see what this looks like. But yeah, a lot of it's just trial. You just try. I just try different settings, and I have my scooter here, and my scooter took over here. But I usually, um, I just try different settings, see what it looks like, take some practice shots. Uh, that's not too bad. But um, I like more of a light trail. And uh, I think the 15 second makes it a little bit nicer. So I'm gonna do one more 15 second and then probably move to another spot. One. Yeah, I think that's the best I'm gonna be able to do at this spot. It's pretty good. Um, so that's long exposure, light trail photography. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And I'm gonna see if I can add to this video. I'll see if I can get some other shots. If not, then this might be the end of this video. Um, but if I can, then I will try to get some more shots of that train or some different locations. So I'll see what else I can do. All right, so I changed locations. Uh, I still have that prism lens on. I think it looks kind of cool, so I'm gonna leave it on there. But yeah, I changed locations, trying to get some different shots. So I have the uh, camera set up, A7 III, uh, and do a long exposure. 
and I have right now I put on shutter priority but I think I'll go back to manual uh, I have ISO 160 f20 and 15 seconds so I have a car going by Let's see what I can get from that and right now the light the light trails aren't that good because there's only one car going by so I need a little bit more activity uh, but I'm waiting for the train actually uh, so let's see what that looks like so yeah so it's not too bad but there's basically one light trail uh, so hopefully if I get the train uh, it'll be a little bit more activity but this is a new spot for now that I've been uh, trying to get some videos Let's see, maybe I'll go 75 and here's a car coming by. So hit the, I have it on self timer, two seconds. Oh, two cars, three cars. This one might be okay. I have four cars. Oh, a lot of traffic. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's the best one so far. Nice. That's definitely the best because it was the most. Well, that's actually not too bad. So. I got some music going by. Oh, here comes the train. Oh, I need to get the train. Need to get the train. Need the. Ah, well, damn. Let's go back. 50. All right, hit it. Hit it. Go. Shutter. Go. Damn, that's all I wanted. Ah, come on. I was waiting for the train. Totally missed it. There it goes. That's all I wanted for the long exposure was that train. Uh, I don't know what, when it's going to come by next. Let's see what that looks like. Eh. Totally missed the lights on that. Oh, wait, here comes another one. All right, let's try this one. I might have to do, here we go, let's see. Let's see what that looks like. There goes the train. Oh, some tail lights. There we go, might be, this might be pretty good. Train is still going, let's see. Oh, that's not bad. Oh. That's not too bad. What can I fix on there? Uh, maybe, I think maybe 20 seconds might be a little better. But yeah, I'll have to probably wait for the train to go by again. And now it's getting cold. But there's my setup. And there's the scooter. And there's the wrap. That's um, my A7 III. Oh wait, train. Or it's actually the T. Thought I heard noises. Uh, but yeah, that's my wrap. That's by, I forgot the company. I forgot the company, but it looks cool. Lifeguard, I think it was, or something like that. But anyway, yeah, the, I think the wrap um, looks pretty cool. All right, I'm just gonna wait here. And I'm gonna wait for the T, I need to start looking at here. I always look at myself, but I have to look here. But I'm gonna wait for the T train to come by again. See if I can get any other shots. All right, so I didn't see that train or the T come by again. But now I'm trying to do a long exposure with the those blue lights under the bridge and then possibly the traffic on the other side. And you can really see this prism lens and I can adjust it, or this prism filter, lens cover. But yeah, this this is on the Sigma, um, but it's kind of cool. So let's, let's see how this came out. Yeah, this, uh, let's see, this picture is not too bad. That's actually not bad. I kind of liked it. I wish, I have the Manfrotto tripod, it's a little bit high. It would be ideal if I had a smaller tripod and I could, just go drop it down a little bit uh, but let's see I'm gonna try this one again I have it framed 
like so. I'm trying for the the uh, blue lights. I have it 20 seconds. So I'm gonna try to get that traffic in the background, the blue lights, the water. Uh, see what happens, and hopefully the wind doesn't blow my camera off the ledge. Maybe I'll use this as a thumbnail. too bad. I would like the uh, I would like the trails across the street to be a little brighter but overall not too bad. I'm gonna switch spots here and maybe I'll just go I'm just gonna do one right of the water. Blue lights right there focus on the water and maybe I will do shutter how about shutter 10. Let's try that. See how that looks. So there's the setup again. All right. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Oh, for focus, it's kind of cool. Actually, I kind of like that. Actually, I'm gonna try to play with the uh, framing. Um, now I'll try. Let's see, maybe I can do shutter priority see what shutter priority does. So I just had that in manual, the last one. No, oh, here comes the T again. Oh, no, I'm gonna miss it. Ah, there it goes. Yeah, I tried this in shutter priority. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, I like that. I just, the only thing I don't, that, some of the water is a little i'm gonna change the frame like that some of the water this is nice there you go all right shut up priority again 10 seconds or shut up priority 10 second aperture uh 10 second shutter here we go i think this is going to be the instagram photo so check out instagram see what one i post it's rights and dot films and see what photo I choose. But uh, I'm kind of liking these ones. Oh, that's pretty solid. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, the f that's, I like that photo. That photo is really cool. That's a really cool shot. What am I? Maybe I'll try 28. Ooh. Oh, man. 28. 28 mil. Oh, that could this could be a nice all right getting excited this could be nice right here if my camera focuses all right let's try this but yeah i'll do one more and then i'll probably wrap this video up i have to take my scooter back it's like what probably 9 30 at night right now yeah that's kind of cool uh but yeah it's it's um it's addicting. It's hard to hard to uh, stop once you get once I find a cool spot. Then it's hard to uh, stop. Oh, this right here. People going by. There we go. All right. Let's see how that came out. Let's see if I can get some subjects. Oh, huh, I like that too. That's nice. Yeah, it's a good spot. I kind of like long exposure. So that's why you just have to try different things. Try some video, try some photo, try um, panning shots, try, just get creative and try all kinds of different shots and then see what you like. I'm kind of liking the long exposure. So, um, but yeah, that's been fun. I could, I could do this all night. I keep saying that's my last photo and then I keep going. So, but I guess I'll wrap this video up. So that's uh, some long exposure light trails. From Boston, it's Mike here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. More videos coming out. Ah, oh, I almost lost my camera. I just grabbed it right before it fell into the water. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of nervous now. I better wrap it up. Should, that's it, end of the video. All right, see you guys in the next one.